Gavin, I have a question for you. What's that? So what's the difference between a water-cooled torch and an air-cooled torch? Why would you have one or have the other? Or why would you have both? Wow. Oh, there's a good question. Just so happens I've got both of them right here on the bench. <laughs> so my air-cooled torch, it's a WP-26F. And my water-cooled torch, which is a WP-20. What does all that mean? Well, the 26F has to do with the size of the head and the size of the, of the cup that it uses and the consumables and, you know, it's all about up here. The 20 has to do with here because it's so much smaller. There, there's the difference between the two, the big difference. But this one's air-cooled, this one's water-cooled. Why would you want them? Well, the, uh, the water actually comes up through this hose, circulates through the body of the torch, and back to the cooler. And all that really does is cool the torch off so you can weld at higher amperages for longer periods of time. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to set the welder at 200 amps which would be a lot for this torch. Not over, but quite a bit of, of amperage on this torch. We're going to set a timer for a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and just run, it, run, a, just run a little bee, just let it run for one whole minute at 200 amps. And then I'm going to take my infrared thermometer. And we're going to shoot it in three different places. And then I'll hook up the water-cooled torch, and we'll do the same thing. And we'll see what kind of temperature difference we get in the body of the torch as opposed to the head of the torch. Keeping in mind, they're not exactly the same size. So this one will get a little warmer here than this one will. But I think you'll be amazed to see the temperature difference down here, where your hand would normally be. So get your helmet, get your timer. Let's see what we can melt. <laughs> so first up, the air cool torque. Uh, 330 seconds diameter, 2% seriated tungsten in both torches. I got my longevity TIG weld set at 200 amps, and we're going to go ahead and just run it for a minute, and then shoot it in three places, and then we'll hook up the other, hook up the water cool torch, and try that one too. All right, hit it. That's it. Okay, so right there at the trigger, 105. And at the, uh, at the junction up here where the tungsten is, 170. And about 102 right there. Okay, let me hook up the water cool, and we'll do that same thing again. Hang on. So now I got my water cool hooked up. Same size tungsten, 330 second, 2% seriated. Same gas, same amperage, everything the same on the machine. Haven't touched anything over there other than to turn on the cooler. Very important. So let's set the timer for a minute and we'll run the same thing again and I'll shoot it in the same three places. All right, get it. Time's up. So we got 89 at the trigger, and we got 89 right in the center of the torque, and at the head, oh, look, 145 up here at the head of the torch where the collet is. Well, that was kind of fun. <laughs> so the air-cooled torch versus the water-cooled. 105 after one minute of welding at 200 amps versus 89. 102 versus 89. And 170 versus 145. Wow. So that's how much the water cooled helps. And that was just in one minute at 200 amps. Water cooled does help a lot. You know, they'll, they'll let you weld longer, they'll let you get more work done. Those are the positive sides. The negative sides, the way I see it at least, 
if you had the same size torch, if both of these were the same model, the 26 or the 20, you would see that uh, the water-cooled torch is actually heavier because it's got water. It's full of water. you got two extra lines in your cable, so your cable is heavier. It's harder to hold. It's harder to keep up just because of the weight. Now, this is a fixed head water-cooled torch. This is a flexible head. This one I'm not going to hurt doing this. If I try to do it over here, I'd wind up breaking the water connections inside. And then you have water running out your cable. You have water running through the torch where the electricity is. Now you have an electrocution hazard. Not to mention the mess of the fluid going everywhere. They do have uh, flex head water cool torches out. I just don't happen to have one here. What about cost? Cost? Uh, boy, that's a good question too. About 50 to to $100 difference in cost. The air cools are cheaper than the water cool. Water cools are a lot more expensive. What about the water cooler, cooling unit itself, though? So this is the water cooler itself. Basically, it's like a radiator in a car. It's got a couple of panels in it. It's got a couple of little tiny radiators and a big fan. Draws air in through one end, blows it through the radiators, helps cool the coolant down. A coolant tank, this one holds uh, about two and three quarter liters, I think it is, of coolant. Not antifreeze. Something different. The inlet and the outlet from the cooler itself, they go up to the connector on the machine to go through the torch cable to come back down again and go back inside the unit. The only difference I made was I went inside my welder and I added a 110 volt plug on the back in the welder so I can plug my cooler right into the welder. When I turn the welder on, the cooler comes on too. That way you don't forget. If you run a water cool torch with no water for more than about you know, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, you start melting parts inside the, the non-cooled torch. So you got to remember to turn that puppy on. And what did it cost you, Kev? If I remember right, this cooler was about $450 new. You bought it used, though, didn't you? I bought it used. Uh, I got it on, the, on Longevity Welding's forum. I found it in the for sale section down there. A, a, a gentleman over in California had it. He had a welder just like this one. He moved up in model of welder. So I picked this up for about half price. Perfectly good little unit. Worked great. You know, throw it in, hook it up. It's been working ever since. So, does that answer your question? Yeah. Cool. Now let's get back to work. <laughs> I'll see you later.